In this lesson, we will use the method of use substitution to evaluate the given indefinite integrals. Looking at the first indefinite integral, we need to determine what to let u equal so the differential u matches the remaining part of the integral. And because we have cosine to the first power and sine to the third power, we will let u equal the trig function raised to the power of three, and therefore we'll let u equal sine x. So if we let u equal sine x, then sine cubed x is equal to u cubed, and we're left with two cosine x dx. Next, we determine differential u. Differential u is equal to the derivative of sine x with respect to x times dx, which is cosine x dx. And since du is equal to cosine x dx, we can replace cosine x dx with du, and then just factor out the two. So now let's write the integral in terms of u. Again, we'll factor out the two, and then we have times the integral of cosine x dx is equal to du, so we have du, and since u is equal to sine x, sine cubed x is equal to u cubed. And now we integrate with respect to u, which is two times u to the power of three plus one, which is four, divided by four plus c. Simplifying two fourths is one half, we have one fourth u to the fourth plus c. And now we write this back in terms of x, and since u is equal to sine x, we have one half sine to the fourth x plus c. And we often identify the antiderivative using big F of x. So here, big F of x, once again, is equal to one half times sine to the fourth x plus c. This is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function, which is two cosine x times sine cubed x. And now looking at the second example, we have the integral of three secant squared x times tangent to the fifth x dx. Again, this is where it's helpful to know your derivative formulas. Since the derivative of tangent x is equal to secant squared x, we will let u equal tangent x. So if u is equal to tangent x, tangent to the fifth x is now equal to u to the fifth, and we're left with three secant squared x dx. Next, we determine differential u, which is equal to the derivative of tangent x with respect to x times dx which is equal to secant squared x dx, and we have a perfect match. We can now substitute du for secant squared x dx, and we can factor out the three. Writing the integral in terms of u, again, we factor out the three. We have three times the integral of secant squared x dx is equal to du, and tangent to the fifth x is equal to u to the fifth, since u is equal to tangent x. Integrating with respect to u, we have three times u to the power of five plus one, which is six, divided by six plus c. Three six is one half, giving us one half times u to the six plus c, which in terms of x is one half times tangent to the sixth x plus c, since u is equal to tangent x. So once again, we can identify this as big F of x, the antiderivative, is equal to one half times tangent to the sixth x plus c, which again indicates this is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function. So one thing nice about determining antiderivatives is we can always check them by differentiating big F of x to make sure we get the original integrand function. I hope you found this helpful.